This is Beamish Open Air Museum, and it's probably the coolest museum in the world. It's what's known as a living museum, where instead of exhibits being housed in glass cases or on plinths, they're used as part of a real world and fully immersive sort of time capsule experience. It's very much like Westworld, or an open world video game. There are several different towns and villages set in its farmland, all linked by a transport system of historic trams and buses. And you can go inside and explore all of it and interact with a hundred or so actors that work around the park, in period dress and in full character. And yes, it's every bit as amazing as it sounds. In the 1900s town, you can explore the bank and its underground vaults. That's so cool. Watch a choir perform in the Masonic Hall. Or see bread and cakes being baked using true Edwardian recipes and methods in the bakery before trying them for yourself. There's a stables, a fun fair, a street of houses you can go inside and explore, and an old sweet shop, after which you'll probably need to visit the dentist, who goes into horrifying detail on the dental and hygiene practices of the day. And if you're there at the right time, you might just even catch a demonstration march from the suffragettes, campaigning for the women's right to vote. There's even an Edwardian steam train that offers visitors rides around the park's railway. And then there's a 1900s mining village. There's a fish and chip shop, where the food is cooked traditionally in coal-fired ranges. A Methodist church, Another set of houses, complete with allotments and greenhouses. And an old school, featuring several classrooms and a schoolyard. All in a cup. And what's more, the school and many other buildings here at Beamish were once real buildings, taken apart brick by brick and then carefully reassembled at the site. Other buildings are replicas based upon real buildings that existed elsewhere while some elements of the park are real and original, such as the coal mine used right up until the 1950s. Visitors must don protective headwear as they wander down the low ceiling mines, learning about the various mining practices and trying not to bang their heads along the way. You really could spend days here. There's always more to explore. There are alleyways leading to yet more buildings and hidden rooms, and it really does feel like you're exploring the map of an open world video game, trying to find all the bonus characters and hidden easter eggs along the way. But most importantly, Beamish does something that an ordinary museum can rarely achieve. It perfectly preserves a way of life for generations to come, and it makes history accessible, immersive and exciting.